All right, folks, how we doing? So I want to talk a little bit about this Fed hike rate that the Fed Bank did yesterday, okay? Um, I First of all, I'd like to say this as a disclaimer. I've been studying, once again, I said this yesterday, I've been studying economics myself for probably like, like the last seven, eight, 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 month, eight months, okay, to get a grasp on how economics plays in with emotions and, you know, spiritually and all that, okay? There's people that'll jump off buildings, you know, that commit suicide, do all kinds of crazy stuff. Why? Over money. I understand that there's over 800 scriptures about money and money is the root of all evil. But at the same time, if you are an investor, you know, you want to have smarter choices with as far as in money. You don't always want to look at the fact of how much you can make off something, okay? And being in that, that type of profession is not anything that you're going to get successful overnight. You understand what I'm saying? Furthermore, I may leave some details out. I'm not a economic an economic specialist, so do your own research. Maybe you get check out some books or whatever at, at the library. I have a book that I'm reading myself. It's uh, Basic Economics 101. Um, I'll, I'll give you the book. I think I've get, showed it before, but I'll, I'll give you the details of that book. And look at some of these podcasters, the guys that know what they, they're talking about. Okay? Now, let's get into it. The Fed, okay? Fed director has raised uh, bank interest rates another 2.5% yesterday. So, the bank rates were 5% to 5.25% prior to that. Okay? So it was raised yesterday for like the ninth time in about a year, something like that. Okay. So that'll raise the interest rates from 5.25% to 5.5%. Okay. Actually, you know, they make this thing out to be very, very bad. You know, I was listening to a guy, uh, they were talking about the history of bank rates and all that were starting to go up in the late sixties. So about the seventies. And as a kid, I would hear, Maybe my dad and when he used to carpool with other guys, you know, to work and stuff, he used to drop me off at school. You know, they used to talk about this, all this stuff. You know, they used to make commercials about inflation and all that in the late 70s. I was I was a kid. Maybe I was like maybe six years old and all that. So I just would hear about it. You know, back then in, in the late latter 70s, those Bank rates between 11 to 12 percent to 19 and a half, almost 20 percent. And it stayed that way until like the early 80s before they could get the bank rates down to like 4 percent. So it was a lot worse. But, I, you know, I don't want before I start digressing. 5.25 to 5.5 percent. OK, now when you listen to the director talk. And I can't even think of his name right now. He, he's. I'm trying to think of how to say this. Okay. But people don't know how to, to interpret a lot of experts. If it's going to be a pause. Okay. And he did not indicate a pause. Okay. But he never said that there was a pause. Okay. So people don't know what the, the, the how to take it. The way when I listened to the, the the press conference, the way I took it was is it's all based on how I guess the things like like the inflation, employment reports, okay, uh, I guess if any more banks are gonna fail, uh, that kind of thing, all right. The the debt ceiling, there's a lot of different factors and all that. OK, that plays in it. And I think he was saying that he was trying to say that, yeah, he would like to show a good sign, but he doesn't uh, of, of a pause. But he doesn't know it's going to be based on all that. Those, you know, uh, what they call it, variables when they have the next. 
meeting, I believe somewhere around June 20th, okay, something like that. So, but it's to my understanding that the Fed can raise that rates up to two more times, okay, one to two more times, or they could, they could, you know, they could, they could pause. But you're not really going to know, probably, I'm thinking until, I'm thinking a good, maybe June 15th, something like that. All right. That's what I think that he was trying to say. What that does for regular people, uh, it's going to make your car loan higher. Uh, if you want to try to buy a home, it's going to make that higher uh, for the banks. Okay. On a more corporate level, they have to pay back more interest rates and so forth on loans. Okay. So if you are already don't have your loan locked in, and whatever that you're trying to get a loan for. Not only that banks are going to get tighter is lending out loans, but you're going to pay back more interest. Okay. So that's what it means for investors. I think that's going to tank the stack stock market more because that's more money that people have to use, you know, to pay off uh, bills or loans, you know, uh, elsewhere. So that's going to take the stock market just a little bit more. But you know what? I just think that they're kind of doing this gradually, little by little, because a lot of this has to do with the stock market, okay? Because they don't want to raise things up too high to crash, you know, to have an economy crash. So I think to a fault, they know what they're doing. And I think they pretty much got this thing down to a science. Okay? If you're an investor, I would say do this. Wait until July 20th around that time, okay, before you, okay, right now is a good time maybe to do commodity stocks, i.e. oil, gold and silver, you know, if you want to position yourself with AI stocks and all that, because I think that those will be the stocks of the future, okay, or I don't know, I hear a lot about foreign, like Amazon type, type stocks, but, but foreign stocks where they pay better dividends, then those are the time, you know, that that's the time to do that right now, either or, okay, but I would say to get a better deal, wait until July 18th, hold off probably, no, I'm sorry, June 18th, hold off till July 15th. That's if, like tech stocks, because it goes through a dead cat period. If they pause, if they are going to raise it again on June 18th, I just say hold out off and invest in whatever your budget can allow you in commodities. I just told you about that, okay? Gold and silver, all that type of thing, okay? Either one is going to go up and the other one's going to go down or vice versa. So that's what's going on there. I just say, we suggest that that happen now, we wait. Whatever that you need to get, to get right now, I say get locked in right now, okay? Because you're going to feel the wrath. There's going to be more banks that are going to probably go downhill. At least there's two or three more on the chopping block. And just, I'd say, hold what you got. Okay? Brace yourself. So let me know what you think about the video. Thank you for your time. I need to move on and do some other things.